Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing. Here's another tip to help you with your game. If you like this tip, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you'll be notified when I post new tips. In this tip, I want to talk about not shifting or bumping your hips to start your downswing. So a lot of people out there, you know, they're working on that. They're trying to get to the top of the backswing like that, and they've been told to shift or bump the hips before you come down with the golf club. So I don't actually teach people to do that. So what I teach is a feeling of turning. Okay, why I'm saying that is because I know the shift is going to happen. So when people do my golf swing, they go through, going to be turning and shifting, ending up on the very tip of this back toe. So if you get to the tip of your back toe, you had to have shifted your weight. So I know the weight is going to shift when people do the body swing. The thing I don't know is, are they going to turn? So think about it. If I step up to the ball like this, and I get to the top of the backswing, and my thought right here is to shift or bump my hips, the problem with that is, is that from the moment you hit the top of your backswing, you have a quarter second in time from here to the ball. You blink your eyes in 0.33 of a second, that's 0.25 of a second. So if you think bump or shift, your golf club is gonna be about here by the time you're ready to hit that golf ball. So as you hit the ball, what happens is you don't see the back cheek. So that's another thing people work on is, or they've been told, you know, you need to see this cheek when you hit the ball. Well, if you're moving sideways, how are you going to see the cheek? Because, like I said, as soon as you start to make the move, it happens so fast, your club's going to be about here. You're going to be maybe 5 or 10, maybe 15 degrees open when you hit the ball. But pros are upwards of 45 degrees open when we hit the ball. So that's why you can see this cheek and the back of this foot is off the ground a little bit here. So to see the cheek, you need more rotation, but you're up here thinking more sideways. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. I don't need you to think about shifting. I know you're going to shift because you're going to end up on the tip of your toe. So let's say you swing through like this. See, if you end up on the tip of your toe here, you had to have shifted your weight. So I already know my students are going to shift. I don't know they're going to turn. So if we can incorporate more turn, that would allow them to see the cheek. That would allow the hips to be more open as we hit the golf ball, which creates a faster release of the club, giving them more distance. So like I said, if you're up at the top and you're thinking bump or shift, you're moving sideways. Yet, you need more rotation to hit the ball longer. Okay, so don't think shift or bump the hips. Think turn turn. Once you hit the top, turn. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not this. It's not here. Turn and send it over the top. I'm turning while I'm still behind the ball. So, good way to kind of get this is get used to turning, but look at the back of the ball. So, right here, at this moment in time, you're not thinking this way. You're thinking turn. I can still be angled behind it, as I turn, I don't need to think shift or bump, okay? But like I said, if somebody's just up here thinking, oh, I got to turn, well, that's shifting immediately onto the forward leg, leaning your whole body forward. That's not what I teach. Right here, we're going to stay behind it and turn. So your whole body is here when we're attacking the ball, but instead of going this way, we're going circular. Like I said, one of the big things is seeing this cheek. So how are you going to see the cheek if you keep moving sideways? All right, so from now on, think turn, not shift. Know that the shift is going to happen if you end up 
on the tip of your toe. All right, once you start turning more, you will hit the ball longer than you ever have. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now for over 25 years. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples. I'll send you some free samples of my book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples or click the link in or below this video and I'll send you the free samples right away.